Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. Welcome back to Ancestral and Healing. Today we're going to be talking about something that you guys have been asking me to do a video on and it's the topic of gallbladder and carnivore. So a lot of you have been asking in the comments if, you know, someone without a gallbladder is able to do the carnivore diet. So I did my research, I compiled some notes, and I'm going to go over them with you. And, you know, just to spoil, spoil it a little bit, the answer is yes, you can do a carnivore diet without a gallbladder. So let's get right into it. While the gallbladder is a vital part of our digestive system, it is entirely possible to do a carnivore diet with some adjustments. Without a gallbladder, your liver still creates bile. You just don't have an extra storage place to put the bile in because you don't have a gallbladder. But your body can adapt and get used to eating an animal-based diet. Because we don't have that extra storage space to store the bile, it ends up in our intestines, in our small intestines. And what that does is it allows for our body to break down the foods, absorb the nutrients, and all that fun stuff. For the most part, it will break down the food with no issue. If we're talking about the carnivore diet and eating a lot of fat, big OMAD meals, you know, people do one meal a day and their meals are big. Well, this is when we start to have problems when we don't have a gallbladder. This will not be easy on our body. You may have difficulty digesting um, all of the food and can lead to symptoms such as diarrhea, bloating, and gas. So what is the solution then? How can I do the carnivore diet if I don't have a gallbladder, you ask? Well, I've composed a list of four points and this seems to be a common consensus across the board. Um, information from Sean Baker, Nutrition with Judy, uh, so do your own research, of course, and as always, I recommend if you're dealing with a pre-existing um, condition or illness and you're not sure how to go about this, maybe it would be a good idea to work with a functional nutritionist who is experienced in this field instead of doing it all on your own. But let's get started. So you may need some gallbladder support like um, ox bile, digestive support, and this will be in order to help break down the fat. Having these digestive supports, especially during the transition phase of a carnivore diet, can really make this a much more easier and more enjoyable process. Our bodies are wonderful and complex and eventually will find the balance um, with fattier meat, but having that, those digestive supports can really, really help. If you are without a gallbladder, perhaps you may need to lower the fat content that you're eating and stick to leaner cuts of meat as your body adjusts. Eating leaner cuts of meat is especially helpful if you've just had your gallbladder removed. You can still do the carnivore diet, but just pick the leaner cuts of meat and maybe stay away from super fatty cuts like bacon, um, perhaps dairy, cheese. Make things easier on your liver by eating smaller meals more frequently. So if you don't have a gallbladder, perhaps spreading out your meals throughout the day, maybe four to six meals in smaller amounts would be more helpful as opposed to doing one massive meal a day. I would probably steer away from doing that. And the final tip is not drinking water during mealtime. The theory is that water in the stomach dilutes the, the stomach acid and decreases the acidity of the stomach, leading to difficult digestion. So those are my little tips. Um, one thing that I do find super helpful if you're someone without a gallbladder who is looking for more information is join the Facebook groups. There are loads of Facebook groups in the search bar. Just type in carnivore groups or carnivore for women. You'll see a whole bunch of groups pop up. And then once you're accepted into the groups, um, in the search bar in the groups, type in gallbladder and you will see all of the posts that people have made regarding the topic of gallbladder. And here, people will share their personal stories, um, whether it's uh, 
success stories with doing carnivore with a gallbladder, without a gallbladder, or if they're just inquiring about it. And the people are so helpful in these groups and you'll find a lot of useful information. So that's my uh, video today on doing the carnivore diet without a gallbladder. It, you know, not having a gallbladder shouldn't stop you from starting a carnivore diet. There are ways to do it if you make several changes to your lifestyle. It's all totally possible. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I wish you a wonderful week ahead. Thank you so much for your support. Have a great day. Enjoy these two videos on the screen if you haven't already. Take care. Bye-bye.